Hey guys, we are back with some more Halifax Tugboats franchise mode. Finally, I know it's been a while, boys. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been really just extremely busy recently, so I haven't been able to record. I think the last time I recorded was like, I don't know, a week and a half ago, because <laughs> I usually record on weekends um, and then just upload throughout the week. So yeah, and I did not record this past weekend. It is a Tuesday currently, so this is uh, kind of weird for me. <laughs> recording on uh, a Tuesday but uh, anyway we do have a lot to do this episode so let's get right to it uh, I first of all I guess we'll show you guys uh, the contract situation because I did go through to July 1st I didn't really feel like it was uh, <laughs> would be productive to just show you guys re-signing the players so I'll just uh, show you guys the contract situation here uh, we did let go as a few players, but no one significant to our team. You know, I believe uh, Calvert was let go. I think Boyle as well. But no one too, you know, with no one with too much value. So, and uh, our contract situation, uh, Duchesne is coming up next year as well as Pouliot. And obviously, uh, Bobrovsky is coming up next year. But that's not going to be a problem because we are going to trade him this episode without a doubt. I already have a trade in mind that I want to do. And uh, Corpusalo is, without a doubt, our starter for this year. Uh, defenseman, you may notice that we have no Ryan Murray. But, in fact, he is in the system with Hetherington. And uh, <laughs> he is an 86. He's a uh, RFA. And uh, he's like that for a reason. Don't worry, we're going to re-sign Ryan Murray. But we need to trade uh, Borowski first. And uh, we may as well do that right now since uh, we've gone through the majority of the contracts. And uh, I think it's a pretty good trade, honestly, that I have set up here. Um, the value may look a little bit off, but I think in the long run, this is definitely going to help us. Because, you know, obviously we don't want to upset Corpusalo because he's pretty much our future and goal. Right? And, uh, you know, they're both pretty much you know, borderline right now. So if we trade Bobrovsky, Corpusalo gets the starting minutes without a doubt next year. So put Bobrovsky on there. Another person who I want to put on there is um, Hetherington because, you know, uh, he's an RFA, so he's not going to count towards any of the cap that we're getting back, but he still has a lot of value um, to this trade. So we are going to go... Uh, to the New York Islanders here. And they want Bobrovsky and Hetherington, so that's going to make this trade pretty easy. Now, they don't want to give up the, tr the the person that we want back, and that's Nick Letty. Uh, he's 27-88. Overall, we desperately need an offensive defenseman along with Derek Pouliot, and uh, that's going to make our defense really good. Now you say, uh, so we get Letty. So we would have Letty, Jones, Pouliot, Savard, and Murray. All of them are at least an 85. So here's my plan for Murray, boys. I'm going to play Murray on the top six with uh, Harrington. But here's the, here's the thing. I'm going to play Murray on the top two power play and on the top two penalty kill the entire year, no matter what happens, just so we can keep him happy. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to add Letty to this. Now... You know, this this does look like a solid trade, um, obviously, but I think we need to make it a little bit more in our favor, and we are going to set uh, the New York Islanders to keep half of Nick Letty's cap, so that, that gives us enough cap to re-sign Ryan Murray, but also get Nick Letty at half price for $2.75 <laughs> Now, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> that is a very good deal for four years, nonetheless. Uh, so even when he's in his last year of his contract, we could just flop him and get him for, you know, a, a bar, uh, get a, uh, a bargain for him or something, you know? So, uh, yeah, we are trading Hetherington and Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky, we needed a trade regardless of the situation. And Hetherington, you know, he adds a bit more value to the trade. Now, let me see if I can get, like, a, a, a draft pick with this. Because I feel like, yeah, that's going to go through way too easy. Um, hmm. What if I get a second? Would that work? I feel like no for some reason. I, I, I feel like that's not going to go through just because of uh, the Islanders don't want to give up Letty. Let's see. Proposed trade. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Uh, what about a third? 
If not, then I'll just go straight up Letty at uh, half price. Proposed trade. Rejected. Yeah, all right. I'll just go with uh, Letty for um, half salary for Bobrovsky and Hetherington. That will definitely go through. I know for a fact. There we go. <laughs> and uh, we have gotten a bargain um, on that, if I do say so myself. Because we are not only saving $5 million by trading Bobrovsky and trading for uh, Letty at half price, we are getting a great defenseman. Again, for like half his value, that that's like fantastic. Um, so now, if you take a look at our contract situation, uh, view contracts, you'll see that salary cap. We still have five point five, so that should be enough to re-sign Ryan Murray. I'm hoping. <laughs> anyway, if that's not enough, then we may need to trade someone else. Uh, but you know, not anyone too significant. So maybe someone like. Uh, I don't know, Carlson or someone. Because it shouldn't be that much to sign uh, Ryan Murray, right? He's only an 86. So, uh, yeah. Where is... Where's Letty? Where's Letty? Where's Letty? Did I pass him? Yes, I did. So, look at this. Look at this, boys. 2.75 for the next four years. 88 overall elite defenseman. Like, how nice is that? He's 27 as well. So, uh, that's that's a great trade for the uh, Halifax tugboats, if I do say so myself. Um Obviously, he'll be playing on the first line with Jones. And I, I got it all uh, drawn out in my head, boys, on, as to what I want to do with the roster this year. So now, if we go to a defenseman in the system, we should be able to re-sign Ryan Murray. I'm really hoping. Yes, okay. So he only wants like 4.3. However, we're going to have to offer him a little more just because we let him go under RFA here. So I'm going to offer him 4.5. Uh, and also because he's slightly unhappy. So, uh, again, I'm going to offer him like 4.5 for three years. I'm going to see if he takes that. Hopefully he does. And, uh, yeah, we can move on. I'm not going to sign any free agents this year just because, you know, of our current situation with Ryan Murray. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, we're going to have to have <laughs> one of these two as our backup, unfortunately. So, Corpusalo, do not get injured in the playoffs. <laughs> If we make it. Um, and yeah, our defensive court core is looking stacked if we get Ryan Murray back on the team. So that'd be, yeah, that'd be Letty, Jones, Savard, uh, Puglia, Murray, and Harrington. That's that's stacked defensively. That's almost reminding me of the Carolina defensive core that we had, um, obviously, in Carolina. Um, and because, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, obviously, we don't have an Aaron Ekblad, but uh, like we did back there. But, you know, we have a really, really deep defensive core in terms of overall. And even if this defensive core doesn't work out, boys, we still have a lot of value in that defensive core, especially in Nick Letty since we got him at, like, a half-price contract pretty much. So, uh, yeah, that that's about it. And uh, we may have to use some 80 overall plays. I do want to play Dubois this year, boys, because uh, he did get up to an 80 overall. I think I'll may play him on, like, the third line. And, uh, yeah, that should work out. I uh, believe we're going to play Anderson this year as well. He's listed the fourth line forward, so I figured why not give him the chance. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go uh, and simulate ahead, see if we get Ryan Murray back on the team. Hopefully we do. And we, I mean, we offered him more than he wanted, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's advance a day. And uh, keep this going. And hopefully we get Ryan Murray back here momentarily. No, nope, okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. All right, all right. We have Murray back. So, <laughs> here's the situation now, boys. If you take a look at our defensive core. All right, so we have 1.8 left in salary cap. That's good. I, again, I don't want to re-sign anyone with that because we're getting, we're getting, we're pushing the uh, the limits of the salary cap. So I don't really feel like testing it here. Uh, so now, <laughs> we have Letty, Jones, Savard, Murray, Puglia, Harrington. Uh, that's not exa the exact lines that I'm going to go with. Obviously, I'm going to go with Letty, Jones, and then Puglia and Savard, and then Murray and Harrington. Now, that is two lefties in, uh, in Harrington and Murray, but that shouldn't matter too much. I'm hoping for the bottom six or uh, top six pair. So, uh, 
and obviously this Kukin guy is not going to play, but <laughs> for some reason EA Sports has him on the roster. Uh, let's see, forwards, yeah, I mean, and then obviously we're going to bring up Dubois later, and maybe, you know, even Bittner if he grows. So, uh, yeah, that's that's our situation currently. Again, we're not going to go into free agency because we have way, uh, we're, we're, we're cutting close to the salary, honestly. Wait a minute, hold on, did I just see... Salary cap, we have 69 out of 76. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? That might be from our buyout penalty and our retained salary. Yeah, that's the reason we only have 1.8. All right. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I think we had to do that retained salary for who? Like Nathan Horton? Or not Nathan Horton, Jesus. <laughs> He's already in Toronto. Um, Scott Hartnell. Right, right, right. So, yeah, I believe that's it. And we'll see him to the next season. I'm not going to waste any of your guys' time. So, we'll, I guess, skip right ahead. Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, season ticket drive ended. And we sold pff, approximately 85% for each. I mean, all right, it's not, not great, but... I suppose, you know, for a team that's that was, you know, underwhelming last season, I can understand. But, uh, yeah, we're approximately at the start of next season now, uh, getting into mid-September here. Should switch over at any time. Uh, yep, available funds bonus, uh, adding approximately 128,000. There you go. That's a nice bonus. Uh, yeah, so there's the preseason owner goals. Let's see. So I would like you to be within one mil of the player's salary budget. I said at 71 mil. Yeah, that's not a problem. We're already, we're already there pretty much. <laughs> uh, I want us to win our regular season home opener. All right. And I expect us to sell 75% of the available suites this year. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. We're a playoff hopeful. All right. So we'll simulate... Uh, you know what? No, no, no. We're not going to simulate yet. Uh, I do want to do the cosmetic stuff first. So, uh, I guess first of all, let's check out who jumped. Uh, roster moves. That'll be easier to do it that way. So we can also mess with the, uh, rosters a bit. Okay, let's, let's see. Uh, anyone who's not supposed to be here. Yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy. You can all go down. Uh, let's check how many defensemen we have. Ooh, ooh, hold on. That means we don't have 12 forwards. Uh, I, oh, good, 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 good. Dubois is an 82. Dubois is an 82. Very nice. So now we can call him up. Uh, we can send down Kukin. <laughs> kind of a fun name to say. But, uh, yeah, there you go, boys. There is our defensive core. At least to start this year. Uh, so we have pl plenty of top four defensemen. No top two. Uh, honestly, though, Nick Letty could act as a top two defenseman. If that shooting category was just a bit better, he would be like a 90-something overall. <laughs> if, like, his accuracy was up in the high 80s, that would be amazing. But, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that Jones can have a breakout year. Uh, I'm hoping that Puglia can have a breakout year. And uh, hoping maybe Murray doesn't get... Uh, mad with the minutes he's going to be having on the top six. But again, he's going to be on the top two power play, and he's going to be on the top two penalty kill. So, uh, yeah. There you go. There's defense. And here is our forward lineup. I believe that's everyone I want. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Bittner. 79 overall minor scoring. Uh, I'm going to... No, 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 no. His defensive category is way too low. I'm going to leave Bittner in the minors for now, boys. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that defensive category is awful. Um, let's check uh, Anderson's. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's much better. Uh, De La Rose. Yeah, yeah. Everyone who's up here now is gonna be who's on the team. So we have three point five left in cap space actually. So that's good. Uh, and then yeah, ooh, Corpus Salo's at ninety now, boys. Yeah, that was that was definitely good that we traded uh, Bobrovsky, and uh, <laughs> he was mad that we traded a Traded away his uh, competition in that. Okay. I mean, I, I guess he was might have been friends with Borovsky. I don't know. But, um, uh, 
Yeah, but he gained morale for trading away or trading for Nick Letty, so uh, that's good. I mean, I would hope anyway. <laughs> uh, you never know with this game. So, yeah, that's good. He's a 90. So let's see who would be our goaltender. I mean, I guess it'd be Forsberg. Matter starting goalie. Uh, let's see who has the highest potential out of these guys. Fringe starter. Oscar Dance backup. So out of these guys, this Merzlikens, <laughs> Merzlikens guy would be the best potential, but he's not the best overall. Three and a half star reflexes, three star puck control, four star athletic. Let's see what Forsberg's about. Three star reflexes. All right, so more or less the same, except uh, three and a half star athletic. I'll just keep Forsberg up here, and for now, boys, we'll just we'll just rotate him out, I guess, throughout the season if need be. Uh, and if Corpusello or uh, not Corpusello, Forsberg does well in his backup role, then we'll keep him there. Uh, defenseman, yeah, there you go. And forwards, we are set. Okay. Uh, best lines for now. I'll set the lines uh, in a bit. Let's check the captaincies here. Uh, so the captaincy, it's giving it to Ryan Murray. I'm going to take that off of you. Sorry, buddy. Um... So, who should be your captain, boys? I'm thinking... I am thinking Saad. But then again, Duchesne really helped um, with at least the improvement of our, of our team. You know what? I'm going to give it to... I'm going to unassign the alternates for now. Uh, I'll give an alternate to Savard. Need a uh, captain on defense. And for me, it's either Saad or Duchesne as the captain. Um, and then whichever one doesn't get the captaincy gets the alternates. Honestly, boys, I am thinking, you know what? Saad's been here longer, but Duchesne helped us out a bit more in terms of point scoring. Uh, I mean, they're both you know, in their mid-20s, so they're both kind of veterans at this point. It's not like they're rookies. Um, wow, that's actually a tough decision. You know what? For now, I'll just put them as, as A's, and uh, you guys can uh, chime in on that, who should be captain. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Ryan Murray. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> the computer did it, not me. Uh, so, yeah, Pierre-Luc Dubois is now an 82 overall. I'm going to put De La Rose down here, Carlson in the center, Anderson on the right wing, there you go, and then, uh, Jesus, Jenner on the third line, no, uh, I'm gonna have Dubois, Hudon, Atkinson, uh, Saad, Duchesne, Bjorkstrand, then Yakupov, Jenner, Wenberg, alright, so that's, those are the five on five lines, defensively, yep, Letty, Jones, Pouliot, Savard, Harrington, Murray, that looks good. Uh, special teams. Let's see. What do I have for special teams? So, Saad. I have Duchesne. I have Bjorkstrand. Uh, Atkinson. Over here. And then instead of Jenner, we're going to put Yakubov. There you go. Uh, so, Pouliot. No, I want Pouliot down here with Jones. I'll keep Letty up there. Take Savard off. And I'm obviously, you know, I'm going to stick to my word. I'm going to put Ryan Murray with Nick Letty on the first line power play. Although I do think, hmm, yeah, I should probably put Letty on the left just because he's got the uh, better puck skills. And they both have relatively the same shot. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's the power play. Four man. Is going to be Saad Duchesne. Uh, what else do I have here? Letty Pouliot down here with Jones and then Murray. All right. So then after that, I have Atkinson and Wenberg. Yep, that looks good. Penalty kill. I have Hudon Jenner. Carlson and Dubois, just so Dubois can get some time and hopefully grow. Let's see, who has the better face-offs? Uh, pretty sure it's Carlson. 
Yeah, 81. Yeah, I'm going to leave Carlson in the middle. Uh, defensively, we have Murray and Savard. And then Harrington and Jones. So replace Letty with Murray. There you go. All right. So that looks good for the penalty kill. Three-man penalty kill is going to be Hudon and Carlson. Just switch these. And Murray, Savard, Jones, and Harrington. So once again, put Murray right there. There we go. That looks good for special teams. Extras. We are going to have the same setup as our 4-on-4 four four power play. So that would be Duchesne, Saad. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Saad is right there. And then Wedenberg Atkinson. Uh, Letty. And Murray together as well. No, not Letty and Letty. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense uh, too much. Uh, and then there you go. That's 4-on-4. Four 4-on-4 four. Four four continued. I suppose would be... Hold on, Letty Murray, Puglia Jones. So that would be Harrington and Savard. Switch these two. And then, yeah, Bjorkstrand and Dubois. That'll be fine. Uh, three on three. I have Duchesne, Wenberg. Uh, yeah, I'll let Dubois ha uh, take a chance there. I was going to put Dub uh Not <laughs> Jeez, getting confused. I was going to put Hude on there, but I guess I'll give uh, Dubois a chance. He is a low lead after all. We do have to kind of grow him as much as we can. Uh, Letty, Jones, uh, Pouliot, Savard, Murray, Harrington. All right, that looks good. Extra attacker. I have uh, no one written down. So <laughs> we are going to, yeah, just go with, I suppose, Duchesne. And we'll go with... Um, I'm thinking Dubois. Yeah, we'll go with Dubois there. And shootout, I have Duchesne, Bjorkstrand, Saad, Wenberg, Letty. So I got to switch out Atkinson for Bjorkstrand. And then Pouliot for Wenberg. Where is he? There you are. All right, changing current line. And that is about it. Goaltenders, obviously, Corpusalo is our starter or elite goaltender at this point. Uh, hopefully, he has a fantastic year. Uh, scratched is no one, obviously, and no lines, no one. Very nice. So that is our lineup for this year. Uh, I'm going to check the AHL real quick. Yeah, Bittner. I just got to make sure Bittner's playing, boys, on every first line because uh, at this point, he is our uh, only NHL prospect, I believe, in the AHL. Yeah, I believe he is. Yeah, top nine. Uh, no, actually, Stenland is a prospect to all move him up to the first line there. Uh, other than that, uh, oh, Kolasar. Yep, so all of our NHL prospect players are on the first line for the AHL, and they're all actually left wing, center, right wing, so that actually works out pretty well. Uh, power forward, power forward, two-way forward. So that's going to be a gritty first line, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, Bittner's got a nice scoring touch. Uh, defensively, actually, yeah, <laughs> defenseman, I completely forgot about that. We have a load of top six defensemen. Well, I guess not a load, just two of them <laughs> signed at least. So that, yeah, that works out pretty well. Uh, lefty, righty, uh, Vineo <laughs> and uh, Carlson. Now, special teams, got to make sure those five are playing. Uh, Stenland. Who's that other guy? Kolasar, right, right. Uh, take Salatoro off. And Kolasar, get on there. Again, I'm going to make sure those five are the main guys playing. Uh, I'll get Kolasar on the second line here. Uh, penalty kill. Nope, nope. I want... Who do I want here? St is Stenland already there? Yeah, he's already there. So, uh, Bittner. Right, right, right. And then, instead of Moser, Kolasar. There you go. And then, 
Vino, or whatever his name is, and then Carlson. Okay. And then, same for here. And then instead of Moser here, I'll go with Bittner. Since he's uh, the highest overall and has the highest potential. There you go. Extras. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Switch out Corrado for Colasar. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good, and that looks good. All right. So goaltenders. Yep, that looks good. And yeah, not not much to really change there. Just had to make sure the top prospects were getting minutes. So that'll be about it for this one. Obviously, it's been a pretty long video, <laughs> just uh, doing the lines and such. But next time we will get started on the year three simulation with the Halifax tugboats. So I'll see you guys in the next one.